What's going on today, everybody? I hope that you're having a great day. I know I will be here in a little bit because I've got a couple things going on with the Subaru that are kind of bugging me where they should be working and they're not. And I got a weird airbag light that keeps coming on and off. So hopefully we can diagnose that too. So let's get some uh, little bit of love and not neglect in this thing. So first things first, I've got a Bluetooth audio uh, receiver, I guess it would be. Because this car has the RCAs, the red, yellow, and white connector for the audio. Super old school, which is weird as a 2011. But the factory navigation's in this one. And it has a connector right here in the middle that is the red, yellow, and white. Well, I've got the audio hooked up to run Bluetooth audio to the head unit. So I can listen to music while I'm driving. Well, that's recently stopped. Well, I guess not recently. I haven't driven it in a long time. So it stopped on me. Now we got to diagnose what's going on with it. So first things first, I tied it into the cigarette lighter. And I've confirmed that the cigarette lighter actually works. So the cable is connected to the cigarette lighter. And, oh, works and it's on. On charging. So that means it's working. That's awesome. So we've got power to the cigarette lighter, which means it's hopefully getting power to the uh, Bluetooth receiver thing. But uh, I don't know. When I did it, it was really, really thin wires because I didn't know much about electronics. Some has been on the fix it list for a long time and it finally broke. So hopefully it's not those. And what we're going to fix them either way. So let's go ahead, let's start tearing the center console out and getting a look at what's going on. And hopefully we can diagnose that airbag light because it, there was a DCDD, DCCD code and an airbag code for the driver's uh, buckle. So same area, let's see if something got in there and played around with some stuff. So let's clean the center console out and get to work. I'm pulling this car apart. Now we've got our cables coming in here. These are our two cables. We've got a red and a white. And all it is is two 10 millimeter bolts in here. So let's go ahead and get our 10 and start removing these bolts. After those two bolts are in, we're gonna go up to the shifter boot here and pull this up. Just give it a nice little tug. Pulls up. We'll pull the fabric all the way up and that will expose a screw right here. So I thought it was all tens. We'll go get a screw a screwdriver for that. Now, once we've got this screw out of here, I'll put this in the glove compartment with the other ones and it should just lift up and out of the way. So now we've got our center console kind of moved out. We can see our cable, which that's already not a great, oh, it's just dirt. So we've got our cable going. Now this is for the uh, two cables for the audio out and we're chasing it up. So it looks like we have to go further up and now that means there's a 10 millimeter up underneath the cup holder that we need to take out and then this thing will pop up, pull out. I think I might need to remove my shift knob because I want to get it all the way out of the way. So right now, nothing looks out of whack as far as the seat belt stuff. It's all good shape. And it doesn't look like there's been any animals in here, so that's good to know. Got our extension, our 10 millimeter, and it's more towards the passenger side here. Let's 
Okay. And this one should, maybe there's, oh, I bet you there's a bolt in here that I forgot. So to get the shift boot out, you pull the tabs on the bottom um, up through the plastic or through the uh, leather. You gotta pull them out and then and then up. That's right. The top part comes apart. I don't need to unplug that because I don't really care to unplug it yet. And my cables keep going up. Looks like I did myself a favor and probably put it behind the radio here. So let's pull these off. That one just pops out. And then we'll get our screws again. Take our vent cover out. Very important not to drop these ones. Awesome. And this guy pulls right out of the middle. Well, it's been a little bit of a hard fought battle, but I think we may have found our problem here. So I managed to rip the whole stereo out and figure out what I was doing. I've, for some reason, when I was younger, I did a terrible job running these wires. So we will fix these wires because these are way too thin for the amount of amperage that's probably gonna be going through this. But all of it that's been stopped by this is this fuse, it looks like. And I guess we could test it. See if this thing's got some continuity to it. And it doesn't. So, fuse is blown. Which you can kind of see in there. Okay, we'll replace the fuse. See if that's the only issue with this. And uh, go forward. Because there's a reason this fuse blew, blew. So, let's figure out why this thing blew. Well, I think I have officially gone down the rabbit hole of chasing down what I was doing. What was a simple Bluetooth fix is now turning into me removing my lights that I have. They work cool, but they're getting so old that it's just, it's just not worth it anymore. So let's get rid of these lights and then we'll disconnect that whole system from the car and do some weight reduction. So there we go, let's get this junk ripped out of here. Now normally, I wouldn't really even care if I did this or not, but with the new headlights, I don't have a power source for the blinker for these. So they're just, they're just in there. I see them, they're old. Not many people will see them, but I see them. So we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of all the stuff that's in here. Make sure that it's back to being somewhat nice again because I have been not really the best to it lately. So let's go ahead, fix that, get rid of this junk, get all them wires or them clips out of there. Even those are breaking off as I'm pulling them out. And then put this bad boy back on there and get the cable uh, found and ripped out. Okay, let's do that. Now, not saying what I was doing in the past wasn't the 
best of workmanship? I don't know. That's not not hyper true. I did do a lot of learning though. I picked up on some things along the way and that's how you learn. You kind of do things wrong and then you figure it out. By the way, figured out what the problem was. Looks like this got corroded somehow. It's back behind my radio. I don't know how it got water or anything on it. But Arctic Terminal, smoking, junk, cool, cases, sucks. I really like these Skosh super short ones because they're way smaller than these big ones. But it's, it's hidden. I don't care anymore. So we'll throw those ones away and then I'll show you how I modded the last one. Which is basically turning this into a cigarette style to a wired style. So break it apart and wire in instead of use it plug in so it'll stay. So let's get to work on those. But uh, let's go ahead get this one. All I'm doing is prying the, the sides. Pry it open because there's no screws on any of these things. It's all glued together. So just pry it open and get to where we can use the guts from this and then the outer is just a beauty piece so I want to work on getting this open and not stabbing myself again so now that I've got everything open a cigarette lighter works basically as a positive minus terminal that you can spin around and kind of pull in and out as long as the button on the end and then the two sides are connecting then you make contact, you make power. So the button end or the one that's sticking out of the bottom is your positive and then your outside ones are your negative. So now I'm gonna wire into both of those and just run wires out the end instead of having it come through the sides and be the side terminals and then the end terminal. So it'll just be wires that come out. Then we can hardwire it in to turn on accessory when we want it to turn on i.e. the radio. So while this is out, we're gonna learn and we're gonna clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol, get it cleaned up, and make sure it's not gonna short itself out again. We'll get a brush. Now, if we chase these back, we can kinda see on the board where they attach. Now, I'm gonna, I don't need to, but I'm gonna go ahead and depin this and actually remove this. I could cut it off, but I got solder to it anyways, so. We're going to take our solder and our soldering iron, heat this stuff up, and then hopefully just depin it real quick, just like that. Pops right out. Then we'll do the negative. Looks like the negative's only held on by one anyways. Perfect. So we'll get that one hot. And then this one I might need. Oh, look at that. Depinned. Easy enough. Black goes the negative. Red goes the positive. Go ahead, toss some flux on here. Get our negative pin ready. We'll run it through this side. Sounds good. So here we go. Now we've got two cables running off of this to be our power supply. So let's put the body back on and then I'll throw a little piece of heat shrink on here to make sure that it all stays together. We learning. Well, good news and bad news is, is it works. If I turn the key on now, where's my key at? If I turn my key on, and then I take my ground, and ground it, it does charge. So it is charging, which is good, but I also heard a pop when I went to do that. And I don't know if that was a body panel because I just put the front uh, body panel on or if it was a fuse. So now we're gonna go hunting and try to find a fuse that broke. So turn this back off and see if we can find a fuse. And maybe we'll look at the airbag fuse because that might be part of our problem too. Maybe that's maybe that's causing problems. Okay, let's let's look at that stuff. Well, after some very frustrating diagnostics on why this thing would not turn on, I found out it's just a stupid cord coming out of the uh, pigtail on the back. So that's now fixed. But if we go ahead and turn this on, we now have a working head unit, which is awesome. And then it's also... Let's see if it'll do it. 
phone has been connected, and now I can play any music that I want through my Bluetooth. My phone's connected to it. So that is awesome. Now I can put this thing to bed. I thought I broke everything, so way cooler. Let's get this mess put away, and uh, we'll be done with this. We fixed a lot of things on this thing. There we go. I cannot believe that took me so long, but I managed to knock out a bunch of things that have been bugging me. Got them lights figured out. Got all that extra wire out of there. We got the Bluetooth working again. We cleaned some stuff up. We did not figure out what was up with the airbag, though, but the light has gone away. So you hold your secrets there, Mr. Airbla airbag. Um, That's it. I've had a good day working on this thing. I need to really redo this carbon. I'm getting sick of it. It's getting faded. I have some really sick carbon that I want to do on the taillights. So I should really start working on those taillights again so I can get all this carbon fixed. I broke a bracket for the other carbon, so it's just more motivation to get those done. With that being said, I'm going to clean this thing because it is disgusting in here. And I'm going to get out of here. And I'll leave you guys to it. You don't need to see that. So you take it easy. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. You enjoy yours. Get something done today. Go clean something. Go fix something. You got it. You can do it. Okay. Peace, everyone. Enjoy your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. We learning. <laughs>